hi all welcome to this course on production planning and control now we'll be learning about scheduling techniques scheduling techniques are generally classified into two types the model based and the heuristic based in the case of model based we'll be learning about machine learning analytical model and mixed model in the heuristic based we'll be learning about the feedback driven prediction driven reactive driven and mixed heuristic based so the project scheduling techniques are generally of either mathematical analysis or either duration compression resource level heuristics simulation task lists calendar or map chart so coming to the details the different techniques of this project scheduling are the project scheduling is typically includes the various techniques an outline of each technique is provided below that is the first one which is mathematical analysis consists of critical path method program evaluation and review technique which are the two main commonly used techniques for by project managers these methods are used to calculate the time span of the project through the scope of the project critical path method every project's tree diagram has a critical path the critical path method estimates the maximum and minimum time required to complete a project The critical path method also helps to identify the critical tasks that should be incorporated into a project. Delivery time changes do not affect the schedule. The scope of the project and the list of the activities necessary for the completion of the project are needed for using critical path method. Next, the time taken by each activity is also calculated, and all the dependent variables are identified. This helps in identifying and separating the independent variable, and finally, it adds the milestones to the project. Project review, project evaluation, and review technique is a process in which we schedule the flow of tasks in a project and estimate the total time taken to complete it. This technique helps represent how each task is dependent on the other. To schedule a project using PERT, one has to identify activities, arrange them in an orderly manner, and define the milestones. Hence, based upon these, we can calculate the timelines for a project on the basis of the level of confidence by what time it will be completed. second one is the duration compression or based upon the duration compression it helps us to cut short a schedule which is needed it can adjust the schedule by making changes without changing the scope in the case the project is running late the two methodologies that is used are fast tracking and crash fast tracking is another way to use the cpm fast tracking methods find ways to speed the pace at which a project is being implemented by either simultaneously executing many tasks or by overloading overlapping many tasks each other the critical path method helps us identify activities that can be used to speed up the pace of the project although it is an appealing technique it has its own share of risks too as many activities will be simultaneously implemented it is highly to make mistakes or compromise and compromise on quality crashing crashing deals with the involving more resources to finish the project on time for this to happen we need to spare resources to be available at your disposal moreover all the tasks which cannot be done by adding extra resources hence the need to add new team members to a project and limited visibility of tasks lead to the increased communication and is the basic reason behind it the crashing technique can also be used by adding time paid over time but it should stay within the decided deadline it unfortunately leads to the raising of the cost of the project simulation is the third type which is the expected duration of the project is calculated by using a different set of tasks in simulation the schedule is created on the basis of assumption so it can be used even if the scope is changed or the tasks are not clear enough and finally we have the resource level and heuristics where cutting the delivery time or avoiding under or over utilization of resources by making adjustments with the schedule or resources is called resource leveling heuristics dividing the task as per the available resource that no resources is under or over utilized the only demerit of this methodology is it may increase the project's cost and time the task list is the simplest project scheduling technique of all the techniques available documented in a spreadsheet or wordpress here is the list of all possible tasks involved in the project This method is simple and the most popular of all methods. It is very useful while implementing small projects, but for large projects with numerous aspects to consider task list, it is not a feasible method. Gantt chart for tracking the progress and reporting purposes. The Gantt chart is a visualization technique which is used in project management. It is used by project managers most of the time to get an idea about the average time needed to finish a project. 
a project schedule nat chart is a bar chart that represents the key activities in sequence on the left versus step each task is represented by a bar that reflects the start and the date of the act and therefore its duration calendar many don't consider scheduling tasks on a calendar for their project requirements when they should most of the calendars can be curated with names of their own in this case you can create one calendar per project and schedule events for that project the calendar shows a timeline for the entire project the major advantage is that it can be subjected to changes as it is shareable while it seems to be a great technique for tracking a project it does not have a certain limitations you cannot assign tasks to certain people and you cannot see the task dependencies like giving a entire calendar of course of study for a particular subject or for a particular course is an example of this calendar hence this resource scheduling tools can help a project manager in the allocation of resources and finish up a project within the prescribed time span they also help in preparing schedules for all the projects that are to be taken up in the future studying the past performance of your team and the hindrances faced while pursuing a project and how were those obstacles overcome very handy scheduling must be an integral part of the project management it just does not help save time but also gets the projects to be organized thank you